back and um, yeah, the start of another day and walking my dog on the beach as I usually do. And I won't start every vlog this way, but I just felt that it's quite an invigorating day today. It's a really mild day, gotta say. But look at the sky out there and these waves that are pounding the shoreline. And the wind is quite uh, heavy, so hopefully you can hear my voice over and above this uh, scroll. Okay, enough for now. <laughs> and I'm just going to make my way back to the car and uh, yeah, go get some breakfast and um, start planning what I'm going to do for the rest of it. Take care everyone, catch you very, very soon. Hi everybody and welcome back. I have walked the dogs. It was absolutely a wonderful morning. Despite the wind, the rain didn't come, thankfully. Uh, but the energy in those waves as they crashed on the shore is absolutely awesome. Just can't beat that. And I love it. I love, I love the calm days and the sun, but I really do love the excitement of a real breeze on shore breeze and those waves crashing against the rocks. Anyway. Dogs are home, had my breakfast, I had to come out to the gallery because I had to deliver a few paintings that I completed recently, both watercolours and oils, and um, some of the ones that have been on my YouTube streams as well. And at the same time, I had to check over some frames that have been uh, made by my lad who frames for me here at the gallery, and uh, I just needed to check those frames are okay, they are really done a great job and uh, so they're ready to go out to their pr respective owners and the other thing I had to do is when I was in here was to uh, package a couple of paintings that have recently been sold and they've got to be packed up ready to ship this Monday so I needed to get on top of that and make sure they're ready to go. And also check on the availability. I've had a couple of clients uh, ring in to say, is this picture still around? Is that picture still around? And I felt that uh, that would be great. So uh, I'm just check those and they are. So that's good for them. So I think I'm pretty much done here on what I need to do at the gallery. And I want to get home because uh, I, I'm sort of, when I look at my watercolor plein air kit, I, uh, I will pick this up again later, but I really want to sort of get into that and check out uh, what I need to do to change it to make it more functional for me. So I will leave the gallery, lock it up soon, and sadly I can't open. And uh, it's not a great day anyway for people in the high street, but sadly I can't open to do anything. But as I say, that uh, the paintings that I brought in are all sitting in the front window and if people walk past they're more than welcome just to make contact with me and say you know i really like that painting uh how can i buy it and i just make a plan with them they can transfer the money over they don't have to touch base with me in that sense and i can do click and drop uh through the door quite happy okay i am down the gallery again and armed with a great cup of coffee I've got to pack some paintings now to ship out. These have been sold on my Instagram um, feed, which is uh, selling some of these paintings for 200 pounds, well, all of these paintings for 200 pounds uh, each. So I've got to get these ready for their new owners. <laughs>
Okay guys, so it's been a, a couple of days and I've sort of recorded little bits and pieces and I've got to admit that this is actually the second time I've filmed this section of the vlog. Uh, it was my own fault. I had all the camera settings screwy. I don't know what I'd done but I changed a few things and not for the better I have to say. And so all, my, all that footage on this section uh, was popping in and out of focus and it was awful I couldn't use it so I decided to refilm it it's a pity really because I enjoyed some of the things that I was saying in that last section so I don't know I will probably um, talk about some of those things again and probably forget all about others but what have I been doing well I did do a little section on uh, looking at the paintings that I've been doing. I've been doing a few small studies for my Instagram and uh, that was really good because the Instagram in lockdown has had a wonderful thing called the Artist Support Pledge and many artists around the world have been sort of putting paintings on some of their back catalogue, other small pieces, pieces that they don't mind selling for £200 or less at a time and um, plus the postage on top and it's been marvelous because it also means that when we sell so many we actually buy somebody some other artist's work and that really is great because it's paying it forward it's revolving and uh, i think it's a great movement and it's had a lot of success and now we're back down in lockdown again so there's been a uh, somewhat of a revival in that and myself included i have actually started putting on my Instagram feed paintings that are 200 pounds or less than 200 pounds ago for originals and and it's really nice to be able to decide that you can let one go for uh, a lot less money and give somebody else a chance to getting hold of a piece of your work for a reasonable price that they can afford so that's great so I've been doing that and I've sort of added a few pieces uh, towards that what else have I been doing well I have been editing a bit of footage. I actually did a lovely stream to my patrons the other evening on Friday and again this was down to me I've got to say I um, I had something uploading on the other computer during the course of this stream and it just kept buffering out and I lost it I had to restart it again lost half my audience of my patrons couldn't find it again so I've been editing I, luckily for me I actually film it as I do the stream as well so I had that footage and I've been editing through that and this morning I was able to upload a much better version of that uh, painting and the one that you'll see my little bit of film footage of now and um, yeah that was good and I have also made a time-lapse version for this upcoming this Friday's uh, YouTube uh, video as well so hopefully that you'll enjoy that on Friday about half past three London time and get something from that and yeah that'll be good and if you do like it and don't forget as always comment on it and like and subscribe all those things but um, it yeah it's not been without incident this uh, last few days with filming and bits and pieces so what else has been going on well I was talking about the fact that I had sort of walked the dogs on the other day on a very very windy day and I did comment actually on the first time around of filming this uh, of how important it is sometimes just to watch and look at things I, I it's all all well and good to run along somewhere with your camera and take tons of photographs for reference and we've all done it you know, I, I still do it but I think sometimes it's good just to look watch and take things in I think that your brain accumulates the information and you see so much more of the overall picture when you do that I remember this is nothing to do with painting but I remember years and years ago I went with my family I was a uh, I am still a, a, a big Muse fan and we went to their last Wembley concert and I um, I thought it would be a great idea as we were quite near the front is to hold my camera up and to film 
the concert as best I could. And so I could, I've got it for the future. I thought that'd be great. So I was there holding up my phone for so much of this um, concert and uh, keep looking up at it and checking that they were in shot and I hadn't wavered, all these things. And I realized at the end that I actually hadn't seen the concert at all. I was so involved in looking at this camera, seeing that it was all going on properly, I actually didn't see the concert. And my family had a great time. They were roaring with this concert, really lovely. And you know what makes that worse is the fact that since I've come home all those years ago now, I've never actually looked at that footage ever again. And that's quite sad. And it wouldn't have been so bad had I looked at the footage a couple of times, but I haven't. And I couldn't even tell you where that footage is, footage is right now. So it just goes to show that, you know, sometimes you do miss an awful lot by trying to film, trying to photograph. And uh, I know when we're in Africa, my wife and I, and we're doing a lot of stuff, so often we'll just put the cameras down sketch or look and you see so much more of life and you take so much more in and i think that that really is important so yes have a camera there to back up what you're doing uh as you know i got a little bit of footage of the waves coming in but that's more inspirational and i have that charged in my head for paintings further on down the road so i think that was something that i was actually just touching upon on my other bit of filming before I realized post into the edit that it was horribly gone wrong so with that said and done I am what else have I been doing well I have been looking at and redoing my plein air watercolor easel I'm a bit of a glutton for boxes gotta be said I have I see a new box invariably I go out and buy one I don't really need it as my wife often tells me that I can only paint with one Pashar box at a time. And I have, I think, 20 odd, 20 plus different kits. Some of them I've made myself from years ago before I could afford to buy anything commercially made. Uh, some I have taken cheaper ones of, adapted and made them better for use. Others I've gone out there and spent huge amounts of money <laughs> on beautiful American made ones, the Coulter system, open box M, plain it, take it easel. Um, are so many of them. I've got most of them and I haven't got them all. <laughs> I keep looking, but I, I've got most of them and I, and I love them. And uh, one of the ones I got was I bought uh, one of the single arms and two of the fold out Coulter systems. And, uh, I have been desperately, desperately trying to find out, and I know many artists have tried doing this too, but one of my uh, heroes is the is uh, Joseph Spookvik, and uh, most of you watercolorists out there will probably know that name uh, and uh, follow his uh, films and different things that he's done over the years. But he is an amazing translocated in Australia artist and um, he has this wonderful fold up easel system that he made himself I believe and uh, I have looked everywhere now I do know that there is a Chinese made sold through some of the American outlets that look fairly similar but they're not quite the same and I have looked at a couple of other artists that have also got very very similar models they've obviously worked out how to create one I had a friend who's a lot more of a genius than I ever will be we tried and wrecked some tripod legs trying to make our own version it we just couldn't get it worked out and um, so yeah that's one box I'd love to have that eludes me but with that said I have actually used the standard tripod I used the smaller of the two Coulter easel fold out flats but I then fashioned a smaller top to take a, a paper of the 11 by 15 quarter imperial size and that's worked really really well over the years and I've also wanted to be able to paint sometimes in half imperial which is 22 inches by 15 and to do that it meant 
modifying another board and finding a lightweight board. Now there are several lightweight boards out there that you can buy from. I don't know where you get them from America, but obviously there are your regular arts, Jerry's Arts Armour and all these sort of places. But in this country you can get them from the SAA, you can get from Jackson's and places like that. And they're very lightweight drawing boards and they come in A4, A3 and A2. And I think what I've got, as I bought them over there, all they are is a, is a good piece of ply, nice ply each side with an edge to it, but the hollow inside predominantly, they've got a little bit of, I'm sure, cardboard to stop them sagging in, but they really do work well as lightweights. And then if you put and glue a piece of uh, timber on the back, say a half inch piece of plywood, and then attach a clamping system that you can then put onto a tripod, and I think the metal brackets you can get from Ken Bromley in this country, uh, Ken Bromley Art Supplies, he does these little metal things for about 10, 11 pounds, and they screw onto the back of the wood, and then you simply clip your tripod attachment to that. And that's what I've done on this unit behind me. So I have done a little watercolor just to test it, but I wanted to make sure that there wasn't too much flopping around because it's quite big. And the last thing I want to do is sort of press down on it and it goes to one side or really messes up. It doesn't, it works well. So to that end, I have got myself uh, the ability to run out and do some plein air outside with much larger sheets of paper. And I'm going to look forward to <laughs> the weather getting up really nice. Actually, it's quite a nice day today as it's turned out, but it is still very, very windy, so it's not conducive. But anyway, that's said and done. I better bring this vlog to an end and uh, let you crack on with your lives. So I appreciate you sticking with me and I appreciate the support that you're giving my channel. It really, really is kind of you and I hope you are enjoying these little um, impromptu uh, videos that I'm putting up, these little vlogs, and as I get something to say. I'm not going to do one for the sake of it. I just do it when I've got something to say and to tell you about. And, uh, and yeah, so, until the next one. Uh, I look forward to your company again, everybody, and thank you very, very much for watching. And as I always say, don't forget, subscribe, click the bell icon, all those things, if you would. It really does help me out, and it doesn't cost you anything to do that. And if you want more art tuition from me, uh, real time to all the time lapses, you get a lot of time lapses on YouTube, but if you want the real time versions and an awful lot more in a second stream, then please consider popping over to my Patreon and having a look. Um, there are several tiers there from $5 a month, $10 a month, and they don't cost you an awful lot, but you are helping me support what I'm doing here and creating video content for you all to enjoy and to learn from. So, yeah. You get a lot. I think we're over 60 odd videos now. I keep saying that, but it must be climbing uh, and I'm constantly adding to it. So anyway, let's stop the promotion and hopefully you take a look at that. And I'd love to see you on board and welcome you as a patron to my patron. In the meantime, everybody, happy painting and um, whatever you're doing, do it safely. Keep your distance and uh, let's get through this pandemic all safe on the other side so i look forward to talking to you all very very soon don't forget friday there will be the time lapse version of that little girl you saw me paint during this vlog on friday so catch you all then take care everybody bye bye for now bye bye Yeah.